Ever since Ted had been banished into hell, Gordon and Henry were still getting repaired, and they'd been waiting for a long time. Oh, the indignity, Puff Gordon. We've been stuck here for weeks, and we're still not even close to being fully rebuilt. Gordon, we did a nice thing while helping Thomas nonetheless, even though I barely did anything. Then, on the narrow gauge line of the works, Luke came struggling in, towing in Starlowy and Sir Handel. Oh, cried Luke, so heavy. You two, Gordon and Henry said. We were working at the mines when suddenly some rocks fell. The rest of the engines are on the other side. Scarlowy and Sir Handel were badly damaged. They had passed out. My valve had broken, so I had to struggle to bring them back. But where are the others? I know they're on the other side, but are they alright? They were in the cliffside, but they might be badly hurt. And I can't even get there. Scarlowy and Sir Handel are too badly damaged, so... I'm guessing I'm just going to have to wait to be repaired so I can actually get up. The engines were trying to think of a way to help them, but they couldn't think of any way. It will take it will take a good few hours for Luke and for Sahandal and Scarloli. What are we going to do? If only we had another engine. Then James popped in with an engine on a flatbed. Hi everyone, Puff James. I brought an engine for the Scarloli Railway. That's convenient, said Gordon. What's his name? My name's Marcus. What do you need me for? We need you to take some supplies from here up to the quarry to help other engines. There's been a rock slide, and we're not too sure if the other engines are safe. Of course I'll help, smiled the engine. Marcus was, the, Marcus was then hooked up to some vans and puffed away to help the little engines. Our van on the tracks. What's in it? he asked. The driver then got out to inspect the van. It's full of supplies that we can use. Buffer up to it. The fireman then found him buffer up. They set off. Meanwhile, the engines were in, were in some trouble. Rocks were stuck between Peter Sam and a truck. Freddy had popped a valve. And Rusty had to keep his brakes hard on to make sure that they didn't go into a pile of rock. Sam and Freddy had burst their safety valves. I hope someone comes soon, he puffed. Then Marcus began puffing up with the vans. I'm here to help, he puffed. Goodness, said Freddy. Marcus went and uncuffed from the vans, then slowly began pushing away the stones so he could get up to them. Come on. He was soon clearing the truck. Then he puffed up and buffered up to Freddy. You ready? I'm not too sure. There are rocks in between us and some trucks. Okay then, I'll have to uncouple you one at a time. First he took Freddy and his and two trucks. He was puffing back up to help Peter Sam and Rusty, but Rusty's bridge slipped off. And then he was stuck trying to keep himself to the rails. The engines were beginning to fall. Marcus then buffered, coupled onto Peterson and began pulling hard. <laughs> Come on! Rusty was trying to help, but he couldn't do much. He was barely on the rails, and he had slightly derailed. <laughs> but then there was trouble. Marcus, Marcus was having trouble braking on the hill. He braked as hard as he could when he got to the bend, and Freddy's trucks just stopped him. Oof! That was close, he puffed. Thank you, Marcus, puffed Peter Sam. Hooray, puffed City. Three cheers for Marcus! That's the sign of a really useful engine, puffed Freddy. Meanwhile, back at Croven's Gate, all the engines were wondering. Even Mr. Percival. Then they heard a whistle and they saw Marcus pushing, pushing the three engines. 
And he was very, very tired. Well done, Marcus. I knew you would be a good engine for a job on this railway. Thank you, sir. He puffed. Lord, you shall have a new coat of paint. Hey, for Marcus, cried the three men. Hey! Marcus was so happy to be a part of the Scarlowy Railway that he just smiled.